So now let's assume that we actually know our population standard deviation and we're going to construct a confidence interval. Um, so if we know sigma, then that means we are going to use our z-table. So we need to know our confidence level and then that will get us to our alpha. Right. So as an example, if we were going to do a 99% confidence interval, that leaves our alpha being 1% or 0 0.01, so just 1 minus 0.99. And drawing that out, what that looks like, right, so 99% is what is in the middle. And then we split the 1% evenly between the tails. So I'm going to have a half a percent in each tail. So that's what that is, half a percent. And what our calculator is going to want us to give it is what is the probability underneath? Right, so that actually matches with what's in the body of your Z table, of your standard normal table. Right, so if I have a 99% here and I have half a percent here, then I want the Z value that has 99.5% underneath. Right, and so we've looked this up. If you want to test yourself out with your table, um, we found it in between 2.57 and 2.58, and we just put it right in between, so 2.575. Right, but we can find the exact value on our calculator. Okay, so we're going to figure out how to do that. So you're going to come over here. Um, you need to use the DISTR. It's in blue, so I'm going to hit my second key, and then DISTR gives me this menu. And what I'm interested in getting to is the inverse uh, norm. So it's number three. So use your arrows to page down. And when you highlight three, then you are just going to push enter. We'll push on that. And then it's sitting there, and what it wants you to do is give it that probability. So give it the probability that is underneath the value that you're looking for. So if I put in 0.995, and I close my parentheses, and then just press your enter, that gives me my actual z value. Right, so that's what we were guessing at is being in between. So we put 2.575. Um, but that's the whole value. So you could use this C value in constructing your confidence interval uh, for your population mean mu uh, when you do actually know your population standard deviation.